What is up, fucks? Tonight, we're not going to watch a video. We're going to have a fucking story time about my weekend. Who's fucking excited? I am. Excuse me. I burped. So, as you guys know, JD is busted. So... JD's eye is doing its thing. Now I have to give JD these eye drops twice a day, which is not an issue. And I also have to give him an oral medication twice a day. Again, not a fucking issue. I split up a certain amount of food twice a day for my animals so they don't get fat and also so they feel like they're fed throughout the day. I'm not one of those people who feeds their animals once a day. So it works out really nicely when my dogs need medication, especially JD. That is not, that's, that's not, that's not part of the story. I'm just letting y'all know. He gets medication twice a day. But he gets these eye drops, these fancy, fancy, fancy eye drops. The fact that my dogs get fed twice a day plays into Bailey. Bailey's whole issue. Um, uh, yeah, so I give JD his eye drops twice a day. Usually after he eats his breakfast and dinner. Funny thing is Bailey, the younger dog, likes to what we call tend to the older animal. JD is not as flexible as you guys know, you guys that follow me and have heard me speak about him, because of his breed and because he is so large, his hips in the back do not make it so he can do things as easily. Like, you know how a dog sits down, he can use his hind legs to itch his front legs or his, his sides and things like that. JD is incapable of doing that anymore. He is also not able to clean himself as easily, things of that, things of that nature. So Bailey takes it upon himself to tend to him. Like, um, I don't know, like walk behind him a lot and try to lick him and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, leave him alone. Get the fuck off the dog. Well, now that he's getting eye drops because of the eye drops, there's a lot of shit on his face from his eyes. While Bailey is taken to tending to him by cleaning his face for him, we have been having to physically separate him from the older dog. I've been doing it more than others because I know exactly what eye drops do to human and animal alike. If you guys are not aware of that, eye drops tend to give people the runs. Do not put it in anyone's food. Do not consume eye drops. It's in a no bueno situation. Can give you vomit. It can make you shit yourself. Depending on the kind, it can it can put some damage on you. It can whammy zammy on you. Well, that brings us to Saturday. Apparently, some of us were not being as careful as others. Saturday we woke up. And we fed Bailey. Bailey refused to eat, which is usually a sign that Bailey has eaten his toys. And Bailey can't get the toy out. But Bailey right now is not allowed to have toys, certain toys. He's kind of grounded. <laughs> um, from certain toys. Bailey is five years old. Bailey is a giant child. <laughs> so he is not even allowed to have those toys anymore, not even under supervision, because he doesn't listen. But you know what you can't stop him from doing? Is licking other people's faces, apparently. So, uh, he refused to have breakfast on Saturday, which should have been a clue 
that since he hasn't had those toys that something else was wrong with him that he wouldn't eat. Maybe he ingested something else. <sighs> Shortly after breakfast, Bailey vomited up something that I can only describe as um, as much snot as one would vomit during an extended bout of pneumonia. Mm. And he did it in my office. They always vomit in my office. <laughs> there was no food in his vomit, which should have clued me into maybe he didn't eat dinner either. But no one could answer that question for me. Well, dogs vomit. Bailey sometimes vomits. Didn't, there was no weird sounds coming from his stomach, so maybe it was just a fluke, so we let it ride. But when he vomits the second time, honestly, I think every liquid he owned within his body that it became evident that he had consumed something that was not jiving well with his body. He tried to then drink water, which is a good sign. An animal tries to keep itself hydrated. It's a good sign. Uh, but then perf you know, walked like maybe 10 feet and then profusely puked up everything that he just drank. So, it then dawned on me that maybe, just maybe, someone wasn't watching him and he licked the other dog's face. So, I found my dog and yes, and wouldn't you know, his face was squeaky clean. Absolutely squeaky clean. I then had to take him to an emergency vet who wouldn't let me in the building because of COVID, but let me sit in their parking lot to call animal control, the, the poison part of animal control, which then cost me $65 to make the phone call before they talked to me. After paying them $65, I got to sit in an emergency vet parking lot on the phone with poison control to find out that there was nothing I could do, that he wasn't going to die. Excuse me, I burped. There was nothing I could do, that he needed to vomit it out. But that wasn't just going to be the only thing that he was going to give me as far as gifts for the rest of the night. My dog was about to give me more gifts and they promised it. <laughs> they told me, next will come diarrhea. They guaranteed it. And then they said, depending on how much this dog ate out of these eye drops, the gas that followed was probably going to be horrendous also. And wouldn't you know, they were fucking correct. My dog's farts smelled like it was filled with dead orphans and Indian food. Spoiled Indian food. Dear fucking God. Now he spared me as far as diarrhea in the house. He did that shit in the backyard. And they let me know that he's going to be perfectly fine, but he's going to have a plethora of gifts to give me for the rest of the night. I had to put him on an extremely bland diet for uh, 
the rest of Saturday. Um, all of Sunday, which is today. And I could return him to a regular diet on Monday. And I was to not administer the eye drops around that dog again. And I needed to put the cone of shame, because I own a the cone they put around the dog's heads. I was to put a cone of shame around my younger dog because they didn't suggest I put it around the older one. Consider he, considering the older dog has dementia pretty much. So yeah, I have to put a cone of shame around my younger dog because he's a moron. He doesn't have it on now. He's asleep now. But yeah, I paid $65 to find out that my dog is a moron. And I'm just so pleased that the bottle is small. That these eye drops are teeny tiny and there's not a lot of them. So yeah, I got to spend my time cleaning up vomit out of my office because he vomited in my office three times. In my office. Nowhere else. He saved it for my office. <laughs> so my older dog is doing better. Perfectly fine. His eye is not as swollen. Still looks jacked up. And my younger dog became a, I don't know if you guys remember these, I guess it was a 90s kids toy, but we called them sprinkler weasels. You hook them to the sprinkler and it's just this little thing that spins around and just spits water. But yeah, he turned into a sprinkler weasel in my office after deciding to clean my dog's face. After putting eye drops in it. So yeah, in the words of Amber Lynn, it, my Saturday was a 10 out of 10, I would recommend. <laughs> like I'm sitting in my truck and the, the veterinary tech from the, the vet hospital is, she came out to my car to um, actually look at my dog. So, so she's looking at Bailey, my younger dog, and she's like, oh, he seems like he's doing well now that he's vomited everything up. I was like, yeah, in my office. I'm sitting on the phone waiting for poison control, and I'm just thinking, so this cost me $65, everything he owned in his body and his self-respect. I was like, oh, yeah, this is a great Saturday. Oh, my dog's a moron. So yeah, that, that's my Saturday. Bailey ate eye drops. And it's not like he got a hold of the bottle. No, he ate them off my older dog's face. He literally licked him off my older dog's face. Can you stop the ride? I want to get off. This is the dumbest shit ever. Who does this? On Thanksgiving, I had to take him to the vet because he had a toy lodged in his digestive tract. He could not take a dump to save his life. Because he chewed off a piece of his toy and swallowed it and could not pass it out of his ass. Do you know if he's chewed up and eaten a piece of toy before that he got stuck in his ass? He tried to crap it out, crapped it halfway out, and then it was hanging out of his ass. Freaked himself out, then proceeded to run around the yard with this thing hanging out of his ass. My dog Bailey is possibly the dumbest dog in the entire world. Wow. That 
that it was it was something else it was truly something else well I thought you guys would like to hear about my Saturday went great totally would recommend it totally would at least the death ass has stopped. He's stopped. He's seriously stopped vomiting and he's stopped breaking off death ass around the house. He crop dusts you too. The worst part was he would crop dust you. My husband was walking up the steps and, and the younger dog Bailey was walking up the steps in front of him and just blew ass. Just totally farted. And it just blew right back in, into his face. It was so horrible. And it's kind of those farts like it lingers but it's like heavy because it smells so bad and he could swear he got it in his mouth he says he's like I could taste it that's how bad it was my husband's like I could taste it Ugh. he broke one off in here and it stayed for at least 30 minutes like it was trapped in something like it stains Mm. It's like one of those things if you have spray on for breeze, you don't spray it, you just take the bottle and you just dump it everywhere. Ugh. Never met a dog so dumb. Ugh. Like, I mean, my older dog has dog farts, like the bad ones, but he's old. That's some death ass. He had some death ass. Like at least with my older dog, like I could I could smoke my vape and just like blow it in the air and it kind of gets rid of it, dissipates it a little bit. No, 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 no. This death ass, you couldn't do anything. My son was like, light a match. I actually tried to, didn't do shit. Didn't do shit. I was surprised the match didn't go out. That shit just hung there like mustard gas. Jesus, it's bad. I mean, if that's not a telltale sign that you're dying on the inside, I don't know what is. That he can return to his normal, normal diet tomorrow. As long as he doesn't lick the older dog's face, he should be fine. But yes, that was my weekend. Finally got my older dog back under control because after the eye thing. And then my younger dog's like, you're really screwed with him. But watch what I can do. Come here. Let me lick your face. This is going to be great. Hold my beer. Let me lick your face. Watch what I do. I can totally fuck their whole world up now. Just licked his face and then watched the whole fun begin. And I took him to the same emergency event he went to for the toy. So when I told him the name, the emergency vet tech that came out is just like, Oh, he's back again. Did he eat a toy? I was like, no, 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 something new. I brought you something new. She's like, oh, God, what? And I told her, and she's like, yeah, that is something. That's that's something else. That's something way new. That is, that's that's something else. That's something else that is. You could tell he didn't feel well though, because he's laying in the entry like like the entryway area to the kitchen. And he was so sick, my daughter was making lunch, she's making herself a sandwich. And you know how you're so sick even looking at food makes you nauseous and you wanna die? She's making the sandwich and he's watching her and he, he's slowly just salivating and getting nauseous. He's salivating so much he starts blowing spit bubbles. And I'm just like, just open the door and let him out. He barely makes it out onto the porch and throws up. It was so great. She's screaming, Mom, he's spitting. It's like, no, sweetie, there's a difference. He's not spitting. He's blowing spit bubbles. I felt really bad for the little bastard. But yet I didn't. But again, he's all better now. We took care of it. 
$65 worth to take care of it. I was lucky. The emergency vet didn't charge me. They came out and looked at him, but they didn't charge me. She said because he's cute, but... <laughs> I think she felt sorry because he's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, like, share, subscribe, but if you don't feel like it, it's perfectly fine. I'll just send my dog to your house and just let him just blow ass all over your furniture and, there, and you'll have to get brand new furniture, trust me. That kind of death ass of his, he just can't get rid of. That's, some, that's the kind of shit Ajax won't take off. Ever. You're gonna have to burn that furniture and get all brand new shit. And I'll do that, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> no, for real. Like, share, subscribe, but if you don't feel like it, it's perfectly fine. I'll still be sitting here in front of this camera, talking to myself, as per usual. I hope you enjoy the story time. As much as I enjoyed having it done to me on Saturday, Oh, God. And thank you for Veterinary Hospital. You guys are the best. Sorry, my dog's a fucking moron. Huge fucking moron. And I will talk to you guys later. Hang up your happy faces. Don't join Jenny Craig. Try to recycle. Be nice. And deuces.